The best swimmers in the world make millions of dollars every year in prize money, sponsorship deals, and bonuses. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, when Joseph Schooling beat Michael Phelps in the 100-meter butterfly, his home country of Singapore paid out a whopping $1 million bonus. When you think of swimming, you probably think of epic performances on the world stage. The best athletes in the world duking it out for gold and that spot to be the best in the world. In our last video of this series, we compared pro swimmers bankroll to other professional athletes including basketball and tennis and well, the money didn't stack up. Despite the lackluster sponsorship deals in swimming compared to other sports, some swimmers have managed to make it big and rake in the cash anyways. Welcome to my swim pro. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the richest professional swimmers in the world. We're going to break down how they made their money, and you guessed it, it's not all from winning medals at the Olympics. Even though some of these swimmers are retired, they continue making bank from book deals, brand partnerships, and speaking engagements. Make sure you watch this video until the very end to find out who the richest pro swimmer in the world is. I'll give you a hint, he has 28 Olympic medals. Now let's get started. Kicking off our list is Katinka Hosu. The Iron Lady has been dominant in the world stage since the early 2000s. She has competed in five Olympic Games. In fact, Katinka was the first swimmer, male or female, to earn over $1 million from prize money alone. That's pretty impressive. But considering that she has four Olympic medals and over 40 World Championship medals, it makes complete sense. In addition to her swimming career, Katinka owns the ISL team Iron as well as the Iron Swim Budapest, a club team in her home country of Hungary. In the winter of 2021, she is releasing a documentary of her swimming career, Katinka the Movie. Her net worth is estimated to be somewhere north of $1.5 million. Forbes has named Katinka as the most valuable Hungarian athlete six separate times, meaning that she is the best at leveraging her brand and making money outside of the pool. Ian Thorpe is one of Australia's most successful Olympians. With five gold medals, he's tied with fellow swimmer Emma McKeon for the most golds won by a single athlete in any sport. His net worth is expected to be over $2 million. It's estimated that Ian Thorpe earned around 135,000 Australian dollars for all nine of his Olympic medals, plus additional money from international competitions like the World Championships. After the 2000 Olympics, Ian capitalized on his fame even more and diversified his income streams. He launched a line of luxury jewelry and even underwear. During his career, he was sponsored by Adidas, as well as the Australian powerhouse companies like Qantas, Telstra, and Seven Network. He also dabbled in television, hosting a few reality shows, and even appearing as an extra on the popular show Friends. In the early 2000s, Ian signed an equity deal with the So Natural Foods for an estimated 1.1 million Australian dollars. The deal included the Thorpedo Energy Drink, which featured Ian's face on the bottle. After retiring from swimming, Ian wrote an autobiography, which likely came with a hefty advance. He's also recently worked as an ambassador for Armani. American sprinter Nathan Adrian is next on our list. Over the course of his swimming career, Nathan earned eight total Olympic medals, five gold, one silver, and two bronze. Up until the 2020 Olympic Games, the United States paid out $25,000 for a gold medal, $15,000 for silver, and $10,000 for bronze. On top of that, USA Swimming gave medalists a massive payout, $75,000 for gold, $50,000 for silver, and $15,000 for bronze. With all that in mind, Nathan took home roughly $435,000 for winning medals. Not too shabby. And that doesn't even include the cash that he earned from winning nearly 20 World Championship medals too. Beyond his prize money, Nathan expanded his earning potential with sponsorships. He is sponsored by Speedo, the USA Swimming Foundation, and a nonprofit called Right to Play. He's also done a few sponsored social media posts on Instagram, which likely bring in a few thousand dollars each. In 2019, Nathan and a fellow swimmer, Will Copeland, purchased AC Swim Club in San Rafael, California. He's projected to be worth between two and four million dollars. 
We're not sure what's next for Nathan. Will he try for Paris in 2024? We'll just have to wait and see. Next up is Adam Peaty. The British swimmer is a beast in the pool, and he has been dominating the breaststroke events in the world stage since 2014. British swimmers are not paid for winning Olympic medals like athletes from other countries, so Adam has to earn money from other international competitions as well as corporate sponsorships. He can count on prize money from FINA World Championship events as well as the International Swim League. He brought home around $97,000 from the 2020 International Swim League competitions and $70,000 from the 2019 FINA World Championships. Beyond his sponsorships with Arena, Cupra, Castor Sportswear, and more, Adam owns the Adam Petey Race Clinics, which hosts in-person stroke technique workshops for young swimmers around the UK. Adam also has a YouTube channel, which likely brings in a small amount of money from ad revenue. In the summer of 2021, he announced that he would be competing on the popular television show Strictly Come Dancing. Maybe he will discover a new career path as a dancer, but we hope he sticks to the pool. Adam Petey has already made millions of dollars in his career, and he has positioned himself and his brand to make millions more. Up next, we have Caleb Dressel, who proved himself as the Sprint King in Tokyo. His net worth is estimated to be between three and five million dollars so far, and with the way his career is going, we can anticipate that to increase quite a bit in the next five to ten years. Caleb breaks in prize money at nearly every competition he competes in. At the 2019 World Championships, he went home with $110,000. And in the 2020 International Swim League season, Caleb came home with a monster $291,766 in prize money. At the 2020 Games in Tokyo, he earned about $562,000 for his five gold medals between payouts from the US government and USA Swimming. As we saw with other U.S. swimming medalists, the U.S. government pays out $37,500 for a gold medal, and USA Swimming gives their own separate bonus of $75,000 for each gold medal. Caleb is sponsored by Speedo, Coca-Cola, Noble, Comcast, Google, and more. Toyota also sponsors him, and by the looks of his car, they gifted him a couple of sweet rides as well. But that's not all. In 2020, Caleb launched an online course that shared his training philosophy with young swimmers around the world. He also has a YouTube channel that brings in some cash each year as well. This is just the start of Caleb Dressel's earning potential. Distance queen Katie Ledecky is number six on our list. She is estimated to be worth over $4 million. After her insane performance at the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Katie went home with a monster $335,000 in medal payouts alone. She was able to keep the cash without hurting her eligibility requirements for the NCAA. She did, however, turn down an estimated $5 million in additional sponsorship opportunities so she could compete at Stanford University. Two years later, Katie went pro and signed a six-year, $7 million deal with Tier. She also has sponsorships with Adidas, Panasonic, Visa, Reese's, and of course, Chocolate Milk. For speaking opportunities, Katie can charge between fifty dollars and $100,000 per event. She's raking in that cash. If Katie Ledecky can rake in the cash, Ryan Lochte is an example of how you could lose it. His net worth is an estimated six to eight million dollars. During the peak of his career, he earned up to $2.3 million a year from sponsorships, including Gillette, Speedo, Gatorade, and Ralph Lauren. It makes sense, as he's one of the most successful swimmers in history, second only to Michael Phelps in the number of medals he's won at the Olympics. In the wake of the 2012 Olympics, Ryan starred in his very own reality TV show, What Would Ryan Lochte Do?, and also appeared on a few television shows, including 30 Rock and 90210. After the scandal at the 2016 Rio Olympics, Ryan lost all four of his major sponsors and had to live more conservatively. Later that year, he appeared on Dancing with the Stars, and it has been estimated that celebrities that appear on the show are paid at least $125,000 for the season. In 2017, TYR signed Ryan and in what is his first sponsorship deal since the Lochte Gate scandal. In recent years, he has appeared on various television shows, including Celebrity Family Feud and Celebrity Big Brother. But don't worry about Ryan, he's getting by just fine and still enjoying the sport of swimming. 
While Ryan Lochte has expanded his horizons to TV to earn his cash, Swedish powerhouse Sara Hoistrom is doing pretty well for herself with the traditional sponsorship and prize money route. Estimates of her net worth vary widely, anywhere from two to $12 million. Like Great Britain, Sweden doesn't pay big money for winning medals, but thankfully, Sarah dominates the international circuit and rakes in prize money. During the 2018 World Cup circuit, Sarah earned over $250,000. At the 2019 World Championships, she took home $70,000 in prize money. And in the 2020 International Swim League season, she earned over $174,000. She's sponsored by Arena, as well as multiple food and beverage companies. Now, when you think about the world's richest swimmers, you probably don't think back to the 1970s. Coming in at number nine in our list is Mark Spitz, one of the world's most successful swimmers, and his net worth is estimated to be around $20 million. After winning seven gold medals at the 1972 Olympics in Munich, Germany, Mark made the most of his newfound fame. He earned about $7 million from sponsorships and endorsements in the two years following the 1972 Games. In Mark's words, $1 million in 1972 was like $10 million in today's money. That was big money back in the day. After retiring from swimming, Mark made his way onto the screen, acting in various television shows, appearing in commercials, and working as a sports commentator. He also does numerous speaking engagements around the world every year. He can charge between thirty dollars and $50,000 for a single speaking appearance. He also started a successful real estate company in Beverly Hills and works as a stockbroker. And last, but certainly not least, is the greatest of all time himself. I don't think it surprises anyone to find that Michael Phelps is the world's richest professional swimmer. His career was epic. 28 Olympic medals, 23 of them gold, countless world records and dozens of historic moments, and lots and lots of cash. It's estimated that Michael is worth between 55 and 80 million dollars. According to Essentially Sports, Michael only earned about $2 million directly from his swimming career. American swimmers earned $100,000 in total for a gold medal in 2016, which was Michael's last Olympic Games. The majority of his fortune has come from brand partnerships, bonuses, and endorsement deals. And that's still the case today. In 2008, when Phelps won eight gold medals in Beijing, he was awarded a $1 million bonus from Speedo, which he used to start his own foundation. It's estimated that Michael earns just shy of $10 million a year from brand deals alone, and that's not his only stream of income. He also has his own brand of swimwear, does sponsored social media posts, and has written two books. If you want Michael to come speak at your event, expect to pay around $100,000 or even more. With a fortune like that, Michael lives large, and he deserves it. Looking ahead, I think we can expect swimmers to start earning more money in the years to come. With the International Swim League shelling out millions of dollars in prize money every season, and FINA expected to award over $3 million in prize money at the upcoming Short Course World Championships, more athletes have an opportunity to make swimming a viable career path. And I can't wait to watch it unfold. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And for more videos like this, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video and happy swimming.